rise as the colors are presented by the FDMI Ceremony Unit Color Guard. Please remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by Captain Antonio Quinones. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Captain Quinones. Please remain standing while FDMY Chaplain Reverend Dr. V. Simpson Turner Jr. is invited to the podium to deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of all living entities, we have assembled here today to, the, on this auspicious occasion to swear in Chief Michael Fields and Chief of Staff Luis Martinez. These two who will serve this department our city, state, and nation. God bless now this day and all that are in attendance. We ask, O oh God, that you will bless this service in a special way. Remember those who are working to keep us safe. It is in your name we ask these blessings. Amen. Please retire the colors. Please be seated. Once again, good morning. My name is Captain Randy Lee. I would like to welcome you all to today's swearing in ceremony for the Chief of EMS Operations and Chief of Staff. I would now like to introduce the members of the dais Fire Commissioner of the City of New York, Laura Cavanaugh, <laughs> Chief of Department, John Hodgins. Senior Advisor to Mayor Adams, Tim Pearson. <laughs> Acting Fire Commissioner, Lizette Kristoff. <laughs> FDY Chaplain, Reverend Dr. Turner. <laughs> we also want to give a warm welcome to our two guests of honor, Chief Michael Fields. <laughs> and incoming Chief of Staff, Luis Martinez. I would like to also acknowledge all the FDNY chiefs, assistant commissioners, union representatives, family and friends. Welcome to you all. We will now hear from our first speaker, our fire commissioner, Laura Cavanaugh. So 
So uh, this is obviously a, a very exciting day, and I'm thrilled, uh, and it's wonderful to see how packed this room is. Um, I think it means that I made some good choices. You two are clearly very popular. We can, we can clap for that. Um, I'm going to speak very briefly, because um, I know they're both desperate to get up here and speak, which is a joke. I don't think either one of them want to do that. Um, Mike, uh, I did not know you uh, before the interview process for your job, and I have to say, one of the most competitive interview processes I have participated in in my time in the department, um, so many qualified people in EMS, um, you know, really speaks highly of Chief Bonsignor and the legacy she led, but the thing that really stood out to me as soon as we started talking is you and I had a few things in common that uh, I am incredibly passionate about, and you had them in droves. You are a phenomenal communicator. Um, you are deeply in touch with the rank and file and with the field, and you are a passionate, outside-of-the-box thinker. And I know you could hold two things true, um, which is the, the love and appreciation for this job, but also the ways we could work together to innovate it. And that, that is what made um, the distinction, and I, I could not be more happy with my choice. I'd also say uh, I think you are the first and only, it's safe to say, person who got field promoted in uh, Times Square on New Year's, and that was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I'm, very, I'm very happy to make it official today, although that was a special moment, um, and to see all of the ways that we can keep moving forward um, EMS together and continue to lift up the great work that our members in EMS do. So congratulations. Uh, Lewis. Uh, and I have been talking for years um, about our passion for public safety, about all of the different things we wanted to take on, all of the projects we thought that we could implement, and I could not, I'm getting a little emotional, in my wildest dreams imagine we would be in this position to do so. Um, I couldn't imagine I would be standing here, and I couldn't imagine I would be lucky enough to have you come over and work with me. And, you know, you have been there well before day one, but also on day one when we lost Jesse, you showed up to support me, and you've been there through all of the, the very difficult 2022 that we had as a department, and I'm so grateful I could not be more excited to uh, get to work with you, and uh, also, you know, my daily evergreen goal, which is to get a member of NYPD to admit that they like the fire department better, so <laughs> congratulations. I think I, I think I get to swear Mike in now, right? Ceremonial? Yeah? Mike, I think you can come up to the stage with uh, whoever in your family is going to hold the Bible. <laughs> Somebody have the Bible? Huh? Somebody have the Bible? She has it. Right have it. I state your name. I, Michael Fields. Having been promoted to the rank of Chief of EMS Operations. Having been promoted to the rank of Chief of EMS Operations. In the Fire Department of the City of New York. In the Fire Department in the City of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. Governing the department. Governing the, the department. And I will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And I will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
Jack to speak now since I accidentally looked over. Yeah, yeah. What? Jack or mine? Yeah. Sorry. In my rush to swear him on, I skipped over Jack, Chief of Department. So Jack is going to speak, and then Mike will let you speak. <laughs> Oh, this better be good now. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. It's a great day when we can welcome new leaders to our department. Today is one of those days, and I am honored to be here. Today, we are promoting two key positions in the FDNY, the Chief of EMS Operations and the Chief of Staff to the Fire Commissioner. Both roles are extremely important to the efficient operations of our department. I want to take a moment to offer congratulations, again, to Chief Mike Fields and Luis Martinez. <laughs> Working directly with Chief Fields this last month, I have come to realize as the commissioner was alluding to. He is a no-nonsense, straight shooter, and I am looking forward to hearing about and implementing his vision for EMS. Just working with him directly for the past month, it is apparent that he understands the relationship between fire and EMS and all of the great work that we do together. He has worked in all facets of EMS and will bring that expertise and talent into this leadership role, and I know he will do a great job. He also knows he has big shoes to fill. We, uh, retired EMS Chief William Bonsignor was here for a whole, a whole uh, four years at least, and Chief Fields no doubt learned from her over that time, and will continue to uphold the standards, standards and excellence within EMS. I'm sure of that. I have also had the privilege of working with Luis Martinez over the course of the last year. Let's be honest. At first, there was a little concern around the rumor rail at the water cooler about an NYPD sergeant coming to work in the FDNY. <laughs> you would often hear side conversation is, who's that new guy on the eighth floor? Oh, that's Luis Martinez. He's a cop. <laughs> what do you mean he's a cop? Yeah, he's a sergeant with the NYPD. Is he a spy? <laughs> no, he's not a spy. He's going to be working with the commissioner. <laughs> and that's the way that went on for a little while, to tell you the truth. But as we know, as we know now, Lewis has proven himself to be able to work with everybody and get along with everybody. And just the, the, uh, the mission of the fire department now is his main concern. And we have all the confidence in the world in his abilities. But I officially welcome you to the team, uh, Lewis, in your new role, and know you will be, have spring skill and expertise to the office of the commissioner as a new chief of staff. This is a crucial role, and it's one I know you will embrace. I look forward to working together and seeing the great work you will bring to our department. Chief of Staff Mar Martinez also has big shoes to fill, replacing our soon-to-be-retired Chief of Staff Elizabeth Cassio. Liz, we thank you for your decades of service and are grateful for the steadfast guidance and institutional knowledge you brought to the office. A round of applause for that. to Chief Fields and Chief of Staff Martinez. Good luck and congratulations in your new positions. I look forward to working closely with both of you in the days ahead. Thank you.
Thank you, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium Chief of EMS Operations, Michael Fields. Thanks for this one. So first of all, I just got to start off by saying God is good. And all the time. All right, so good morning, all. I am very blessed and honored to be appointed to the position of FDNY Chief of EMS. I remember it was the late 1994s, and I walked into the EMS headquarters, which was located on 48th Street in Maspis, Queens. I came to accept the position as the trainee in EMS Academy. The person taking my credentials, the person taking my credentials was a very nice lady. And as, a, as candidates began to gather in the waiting area, she began inquiring about where we currently work and where we see ourselves in the future. So honestly speaking, I knew nothing about EMS. Others said they would be paramedics and a few said they would become lieutenants. And I boldly, say, I boldly stated that one day I would be in charge of EMS. The nice lady laughed and the others chimed in with their laughters as well. The laughter sparked the flame in me that would grow with every giggle, every awkward pause that came as a result of me expressing my long-term goals. Wow, who knew how powerful the laughter would be? My story and my values are rooted in the South. My mother and her 13 siblings were all born and raised in North Carolina. Her and four of her sisters all migrated to New York to find better wages and a better life. I was blessed and sometimes cursed to have five mothers. That was five hugs when you were good and five butt whippings when you were bad. <laughs> and boy, I was bad. <laughs> what was most memorable to me were the values learned. Always say please. Always say thank you. Always respect your elders. Always respect women. Never lie. Never bully people. Never stand by and do nothing while others are being bullied. Fight hard for the things you want. Try to avoid physical confrontation, but if you have to, fight. Always hit fast and hard. <laughs> Never allow others to put limitations on your potentials or abilities. And our most important value, family first, family last. So that laughter has quietly echoed in my head for the last 28 plus years. I turned those echoes of laughter into an encouraging battle cry, reminding me that I can become anything I want. I spoke into existence all my dreams, all my goals, and I put together a plan to accomplish them all. I would be remiss to think or even suggest that this was a solo trip. My family, my friends, my mentors have all assisted and guided me through this road. I have had plenty of highs, and as you may imagine, I have even more lows. There are always people sent to obstruct your path, to throw obstacles in your way. Some are jealous of your success. Others have no sane reason other than disliking my appearance or the way I spoke or carried myself. You know that people who say, Mike is very smart, but I don't know there's something about him that doesn't fit. I learned on this ride that everyone won't like you, but that is their problem and not mine. The hate they carry is not my burden to carry. So I start. <clears throat> so I stopped trying to engage with the fools that were trying to block my growth. I prayed on it. I asked my ancestors, family, and friends to guide me to these goals here today. Look like they came through. <laughs> to every one of you who have seen me down and carried me, for every one of you who see me weak and exhausted and help lift me up to the next level, I send you a million thanks. I acknowledge that I'm nothing without the support of my community. So it's only right that I speak to the community I have been appointed to lead, the community that I have been appointed to work for, to advocate for, to God. 
I know that my, I know that my EMTs, paramedics, and officers are the backbone of this FDNY EMS organization. These hardworking women and men respond to over 1.5 million assignments a year. EMS officers and chiefs have managed and supported all the city's most critical incidents and tirelessly projected leadership to our young, hardworking workforce. I will continue our safety initiatives, advocating for the latest in technology to ensure that our members are able to operate throughout the city in, in a safe manner as possible. That we are continuing the fight to ensure our membership has the best cutting edge technology to assist with pre-hospital care of the city's residents and her visitors. We will implement leadership programs to help our officers learn and master the skills of leadership. We will continue to provide extraordinary patient care to the citizens and visitors of New York City. We shall utilize data to pinpoint areas that need additional resources, ensuring that all who call 911 will receive necessary medical resources for their emergency. I hope to continue to nurture our relationship, taking into consideration the needs of the boots on the ground, where ideas are gathered from all ranks within the organization, where all stakeholders have a seat at the table. I promise to place the FDNY's mission and the membership first. I know that with the support of the best EMTs, paramedics, officers, and chiefs who have grown into my extended family, we will continue to be successful and meet the needs of the residents of New York City. Always remember, family first, family last. Thank you all. FDY Chief of EMS Operations, Michael Fields, everybody. Next, we will promote to the rank of Chief of Staff. Will Luis Martinez please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat the oath with the Commissioner, Luis Martinez's wife, Janeska Martinez, will hold the Bible for him. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Thank you. That's a good start. I state your name. I, Luis Martinez. Having been appointed to the rank of Chief of Staff. Having been appointed to the rank of Chief of Staff. In the Fire Department of the City of New York. In the Fire Department in the City of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. Governing the department. Governing the department. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner, for this incredible honor and for the opportunity to continue serving our great city. I'm a New York City kid born into a humble and hardworking family. We were not rich financially, but we were and still are rich with family. Mike, you made this hard because now you broke me and it's going to be hard for me to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> I practiced this and it was fine. <laughs> Everything that we did, we did together. Even if I didn't know it at the time, I was learning that the best way to help and be helped is through community. I was learning about the power of human connection. I was learning watching my dad serve the city for the MTA for years. I was learning by watching my mom seemingly get to know every single person in Inwood and Washington Heights 
and find out about what was going on in their lives, just to connect. That's the mindset that got me into this improbable moment in my life and here to this stage. And what drew me to public service in the first place. As many of you have now heard three or four times, I've spent the better part of the last two decades at the NYPD. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> when I first started there, I expected to encounter a culture that was pretty different from mine. What I found, though, was that it had the same ethos as me. Everybody sought each other out and created their own families. That's how we got through our tours. The harder the work, the closer the unit. Family. That's the ethos and the universal truth of public service. And in the short time I've been here, that's what stood out to me in the fire department. It is a collection of communities bounded by their commitment to service. That's our superpower. That's why this great agency always comes out stronger in the face of the worst disasters. It's not due to our budget, our equipment, our apparatus. They are cool. It's the communities we've formed coming together when we've needed to most. And I look forward to expanding those communities in new ways with you and getting to work for this commissioner. I do thank you again very much for your trust in me. I'm excited to continue working under your great leadership. To my parents, thank you for passing on your hard working ethic, your love of our city, and your commitment to serving others onto me. It's the reason for everything I've accomplished. To my kids, Jaylee, Nigo, and baby Harry, you're my purpose and what I look forward to every day. And to my wife, Janeska. Thank you for your unwavering belief in me, my most trusted advisor and best friend. These are challenging times. Post-pandemic, the first responder community is challenged to do more with less, responding to emergency situations that are more complex than ever. Yet I stand here more than confident that we won't just succeed, but we'll thrive. And why wouldn't I be? when I have all of you to lean on. Firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, fire marshals, fire inspectors, and all of our dedicated civilians. You've gotten this city and agency through terrorist attacks, unprecedented natural disasters, and a worldwide pandemic. All while never failing to answer a call for service. If I can serve you and advocate for you, Half as well as you've advocated and served this city for the last 157 years that I know we'll leave this place in this city better than we found it. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Chief of Staff, Luis Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for our new Chief of EMS Operations and Chief of Staff. Please remain standing for the benediction by FDNY Reverend Dr. V. Simpson Turner, Jr. Let us pray, Lord, creator of the ends of the earth. We are grateful for this day which thou hast ordained. We've gathered here today for the swearing in of Chief Mike Fields, the Chief of EMS, and Chief of Staff Luis Martinez. We certainly know that these men are certainly men that are men of integrity, men of principles, and so we are certainly proud of what has been done here today. We ask, O oh God, your blessings on them and bless this administration that they are helping to undertake. And certainly, God, may you give both Chief Fields and Chief of Staff Martinez 
the determination of the biblical King David. May you grant them the wisdom of the king in biblical times known as Solomon. Grant them the creative favor of that biblical character known as Joseph. Now, Father, bless Chief of Staff Luis Martinez, Chief Mike Fields. Almighty One, we again pronounce on them that you will bless them, that you will be with them, and certainly you will give them the courage that they will need to be able to undertake the awesome responsibilities that thou has bestowed upon them. Now we declare that this is only the beginning. We declare blessings upon us and certainly upon all who are here. And we assure Chief Fields and Chief of Staff Martinez that by the power that has been invested in me by the Almighty God, blessings today, blessings tomorrow, and blessings in their future. And we pronounce it for all to hear today, the best is yet to come. In the name of him who gave his all for us, everyone in here who is a child of God, say amen, 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 amen and thank God. Put your hands together for the Lord now. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Fire Commissioner, Chief of Department, and other distinguished members of the dais, I want to thank everyone for joining us for today's promotion ceremony. Congratulations to our new promotees. This concludes the ceremony. Have a great day.